Welcome to the NBA desktop. Yay! It's the bubble. Bubble season, engage. But we're waiting for one person, Lou Williams. That's right. We lost someone close to him. Rest in peace and our condolences. But then something else happened. Jack Harlaw posted this picture to Instagram, a location you would never guess. It turned out to be Magic City. And now to talk to us about the cultural significance of Magic City, Woo! the quality of their wings and the importance of Lou Williams to Atlanta. Rambert Brown, Ram! So I think it's important to know that Magic City is a multi-hyphenate. Magic yeah. City is a place for Olympic level athleticism. It's also a place for socializing. It's also a place to dine in at 6 p.m. When I heard the Lou Will story, I was disappointed that he was hanging out with someone named Jack Harlow. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but I love that moment online when everyone found out Lou Will had wings named after him. It was like a biblical moment. <laughs> it was like, like, how dare you come at the king when the thing is named after the king? So I, That's right. I love the whole thing. I also want to say to anyone ever doubting of like why Lou was coming home in the first place. Mm. He was coming home to like pay respects to a, an Atlanta legend, Paul Williams Sr., who I actually, if it wasn't yeah. a pandemic, would have flown home, you know? Like, I mean, Paul, uh, I'm friends with his son, but his father was like one of the, the kids in Southwest Atlanta was like one of the first black businessmen we ever saw. Like he owned a Wendy's and we were like, this is the richest, most <laughs> successful black man in history. <laughs> Cause we would, we would play ball and then go, uh, go eat Wendy's. So I just want to like pay my public respects to him also but also like that's the type of move that's why people love Lou Will yes how are the wings the wings are phenomenal Rembert thank you so much you want to dunk one time for us yeah I'm gonna dunk and then pull up <laughs> oh can I say one more thing before I go uh, yes I gotta, I gotta shout out the homies at Twitter. You know, we're out here putting tweets in the bubble. I love it. Definitely, Bron Bron like, is gonna see somebody's tweets. Listen, my best to Twitter always, because without it, I probably, I might be working for UPS. I would probably be dunking um, professionally. <laughs> <laughs> Rem, thank you very much. Oh, Kendrick Perkins, our good friend Kendrick Perkins. Here he is. It's disturbing. When a rookie in Zion Williamson can act more mature, capital M, than NBA vet Lou Williams. Lou responds, 15 years in this business and the most dirt you have on my name is stopping to get hot wings during a pandemic. Perk, shut up! And stop laughing and saying it's just TV when you run into me too. Let me just say this. You want to say that he shouldn't have done that? Good, say that. Don't call a guy like immature and then compare him to someone who's like 12 years younger than him for no apparent reason. Don't do that. Don't do that, Perk. Some weeks ago, we had our good friend Tyler on the show. <laughs> Kendrick Perkins! Kendrick Perkins has vaulted to 
I like top 10 lists to do. Top 10 lists to do. Top 10 lists to do. Tyler has asked if he could come back on the show to reevaluate his list of top dudes. Hello, Jason. Long story short, I'm a Thunder fan. Kendrick Perkins, you know, took time out of his day at one point to really, you know, roast Kevin Durant on Twitter. And that was yeah. something that meant, it meant a lot to me. At, at that point in time, I did vault him to the uh, to the one spot on my top 10 list of dudes. Top 10 list of dudes. I don't I don't regret that decision, but uh, as we know with all this, these things are fluid, right? Man, we age and we rust and, uh, you know, our tastes, they, they morph. Unfortunately, at this time, I am going to have to take Kendrick Perkins off of my top 10 list of dudes. Some of his performances uh, recently yeah. in the uh, in the Twitter sphere and also on television have been uh, have been disappointing. Let's say uh, Kendrick Perkins was to go on the jump and to look directly into the camera and say, Kevin Durant. His breath smells like farts. He's got a weird head. Jason, In addition, I, I just don't like him. I'm going to be honest with you. That would put him right back in the number one spot if he did all that. Tyler, thank you very much. Conspiracy Mike, Michael Porter Jr. via Snapchat, which is definitely how I want to get my conspiracy theories these days. Personally, I think the coronavirus is being used for a bigger agenda. I'm not la I shouldn't be laughing because it's not funny. It's being used for population control in terms of being able to, yeah, I get it. Now you're just saying it again. It's being used for population control in terms of being able to control the masses of people. That's what population control is. That's troubling. And then this, bro, what's your take on Pizzagate from Daryl? What do you think your, your motive as a person if you're asking someone else what they think of Pizzagate? Because I have no interest in asking anyone what they think about Pizzagate. Bro, what's your take on Pizzagate? I don't know what's wrong with these people, but it'll all be exposed one day. Um. This is troubling, and I'll just say that I think it's indicative of a larger education problem in the US and YouTube's algorithms, which just send people down deeper and deeper and deeper and more troubling conspiracy holes. This shit is crazy. Family album. The New York Knicks and Tom Thibodeau are finalizing a five-year deal to make him the franchise's next coach. Sources tell ESPN. Let me say this. I've talked myself into it. Do I think that there are issues with Tibbs? Yes. I think he plays guys too many minutes. I think he's had issues communicating with young players before. But I think the numbers show that he's been a good coach in this league. As Chris Vernon Verno said recently, on the NBA show. Roger Sherman wrote that it was a mistake. What? Kevin, man, I don't know. When did Tom Thibodeau become a bad coach? What? Am I, am I in bizarro world? Is everything upside down? Anyway, I believe in it. Pro tips, Faye Blocks. Gordon, your kids are asking for you. The Celtics have chosen the message to be worn on the backs of their jerseys. You go. Jalen Brown, liberation. Good. Carson Edwards, love us. Okay. Taco Fall, egalite. Ennis Cantor, freedom. Yes. Javante Green, enough. Okay. Gordon Hayward, education reform. <laughs> I was, I'm kind of shocked that's not, uh, not group economics. I just want to be a fly on the wall for one conversation between Jalen Brown and Gordon Hayward. I block it. Here's J.R. Smith on ESPN's Instagram. I packed like seven pieces of underwear, we're gonna assume, cause I figured I'd be good for once a day, but then I calculate all the showers in between everything that I'd be doing. So I'd be running through them in like two, three days. Let me just, J.R., you've been a professional athlete for your whole adult life. You played in China twice. You have been on the road as an NBA player. Do you not know how to pack? You took seven total pieces of underwear to a different city where you are going to be for like three months. I block it! Of course, the NBA tipped off last night with Jazz Pelicans and Lakers Clippers. Uh, what an incredible uh, game from Rudy Gobert in the Utah Jazz win over the Pelicans with 14 points and 12 rebounds. And then we go to Lakers Clippers where of course the Lakers ended up victorious over the Clippers with uh, Anthony Davis having 34 points, eight rebounds. Just an all around great showing from that team. <laughs> Tyler, <laughs> you look like you're in some kind of fucking silo. What is happening? I don't know if y'all heard, but you gotta go underground. <laughs> it can't get underground.